So this is the first riff I heard in the tune, and uh, I'm trying to play this in a way that a beginner might be able to get it. So um, I'm not going to get into like any crazy like down up uh, alternate picking or anything like that. The key of the song is uh, C sharp minor. So what we're going to do for this first uh, this first movement is just start with the ring finger on the um, sixth fret of the G. So again, I'm just doing all down plucks for this. Uh, so just down pluck on sixth fret of the G. <laughs> so you're gonna follow that. What I do is just kind of roll my ring finger down to the sixth fret of the D. And a lot of this you might just have to like play along with the track and just listen to you actually just listen to the vocalist and you'll kind of know how many times you have to pluck each note but just from memory we got all right and what I like to do is pluck and slide to seven and then pluck back on six again then you're gonna go four, back to six. So we had. Then we're gonna go index finger, fourth fret of A. And I think, let's see. I think three plucks. Again, you're going to be following the vocalist when you play along with the track, so that's probably what you're going to want to do to kind of smooth out these sections. But that's uh, that's the first part of the riff. So we got. So that's going from fourth fret of A. I use pinky and go to 7th fret of A. So that's 7th fret to 6th fret. Back to 7th fret, 6th fret. All right. Also, just a quick side note, you want a very staccato sound. So what that means is just very short notes. So what you can do is with your left hand press and then let off each note. See how I'm pressing and plucking and then you just, you just relax after each press and it makes the note very quick and staccato, and that's the sound you want for, I think, most of this song. So let's go ahead and move on to the next section now. So this one, um, this one, again, I'm just doing all down plucks. I'm just trying to keep things really simple uh, for the beginners out there. So we're just, we're in that same box we were before, index finger, fourth fret of A. And we're gonna do an octave, uh, an octave chord, uh, but we're not gonna play the chord. We're just gonna play the single notes. So index finger, fourth fret of A, ring finger, sixth fret of G. So I'm just doing all uh, down plucks. Down pluck on the A, down pluck on the G, and you just alternate back and forth. All right. Then, um, 
set pinky down seventh fret of D. And you're gonna pluck twice. So we got. Then we're gonna go fourth fret of D. Uh, yeah. Fourth fret of D to uh, sixth fret of D. So you'll hear that little bend in there too, I think like the second time he goes through the riff. Alright. So this one we have to move boxes. So we were down here in, on fourth fret, um, index finger was playing the fourth fret of the A, ring finger was playing uh, sixth fret of the G. So we're going to come up here to ninth fret, so index finger is going to play ninth fret of the low E, ring finger eleventh fret of the D. So you're going to, you're going to play E, D, E, D, all right? And then we gotta play a double stop. So index fingers, gonna set down on the ninth fret of the uh, G and the B. So you gotta bar the G and the B. So you got. Now you gotta set ring finger down to play a double stop on the 11th fret of the uh, G and the B. So it's gonna bar across 11th fret of G and the B. So you're gonna pluck and pluck again and bend it up a little bit if you can, all right? One more time. Then we got. So what that is, double stop on nine same double stop. So you're going 9, 11, slight bend, let it return, and then pluck again on 11. I think, oh sorry, and I think on the last one, it'll end right after the bend. All right? <laughs> so you, you gotta listen for that stuff. But um, that's uh, that should be all the three sections to this song. Again, I hope I was uh, simple enough. Just use all down plucks on this if you're a beginner. Um, if you're more advanced, you can probably try to work in some uh, alternate picking on some of these sections I went over. But that's another lesson for another day. So I hope this was helpful for you. Um, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and the notification bell to help me out with the algorithm. And I will see you on the next video.